Hi, welcome to my Servant Leadership presentation, created and presented by myself, Sarita Jackson. I decided to cover how to attract and retain talent for Infuse Solutions. I chose Infuse Solutions because it was a previous employer, and I believe there were some areas in which they could improve with retaining talent, specifically from personal experience. First, I want to start with identifying the problems. Appealing to the talent. Low diversification. There is a growing number of college graduates from all culture backgrounds who are now seeking roles in leadership. This means there is a higher percentage of Hispanics, African Americans, and other races competing for managerial positions. In order to appeal to the masses, you have to attract the masses. Next, we have talent management. Another issue is lack of managing talent. If an organization doesn't have the resources or ability, then their quest to attract talent will fall short. On the other spectrum, if the resources are available, then managing the talent to his or her full potential is essential to the organization. Last, we have retention. Turnover rate. The turnover rate is high, as well as the ineffective management leadership. So now, the question is, how do you attract the talent? Management must understand people are the most valuable and expensive asset. As a manager, here's a few questions you can ask yourself. First, ask yourself, is this a great place to work? Because what you believe will be projected onto the incoming talent. What is the subculture at your organization? Next, are employees challenged and eager when applying intelligence and creativity? Ask yourself, how are such employees received by managers and colleagues when expressing their ideas? Is it encouraged? And do employees feel a disconnect with the company? Are the rates you offer competitive within the industry standard? How is your company different? from its competitors. What do you guys offer? Medical benefits, 401k matching contribution, financial literacy, employee assistance programs in place such as domestic violence support, alcohol abuse, is the company active in the community? Are the views positive or negative? Next we have what is important to your talent? Career growth is important to the workforce. Organizations um, just to be best performers are almost three times more likely to provide career development opportunities than others. Next, talent has to believe the company is equally vested. Talent has to foresee a long-term future with, with the organization. Next, we have retention. Why do people leave? Why do employees leave? Good people don't leave good companies. They leave poor managers. Employees are not loyal to companies. They are loyal to their managers. That means that the managers pretty much dictate how the employee views the organization as a whole depending on what type of manager that he or she has. Recognition. Uh, do you guys hold ceremonies? Uh, praise hard workers. Another way to retain in talent is to create an environment which one can prosper. Is it extremely positive? Um, do they always, do employees get good feedback for their ideas, for their contributions? Establish career development programs. This is just another way to make sure that your talent feels that they can grow within the organization and not be penalized or be held back because of it. Lastly, ensure the talent is aware uh, they are in charge of their future, that you won't hold them back. You will make sure that they have that there's education reimbursements as such as um, different classes and everything else. So it's a lot of stuff that organizations can do to pretty much retain the talent that they have as well as attract more. 
lastly are there any questions feel free to email me and be brutally honest thank you for your time